Hyperconvergence is being heavily promoted by specialist vendors such as Nutanix and Simplicity as a new way of packaging data center infrastructure, which is inherently low cost, simple to manage, and that can scale from small to very large seamlessly. But is it all it's cracked up to be? Before answering that question, let's have a brief look at the evolution of Hyperconverged. Traditional data centers consist of separate servers, networking, and storage components. Although systems from different manufacturers comply with industry standards, a considerable amount of time is spent by customers on designing and testing compatibility between these devices to ensure reliable operations. One approach to address these problems is to use a converged infrastructure. With converged systems, one or more manufacturers define a validated design which is pre-tested to operate reliably. This reduces the time to build a system and some manufacturers even pre-build entire systems at the factory before shipping. Converged systems also tend to come with advanced management tools to further simplify operations and automate the setup procedures. This makes it far faster to roll out new applications and there is the added benefit of a collaborative approach between the manufacturers when it comes to support. Hyperconvergence goes one step further and combines server, networking and storage into a single box. All three components are virtualized using software. By making the entire solution from industry standard server components, the hardware costs are minimized. Hyperconverged infrastructure is scale out by nature, meaning if you want to grow the system, you can simply add one or more boxes or nodes to the system. So back to my earlier question, is it all it's cracked up to be? Hyperconvergence is certainly a fast growing phenomenon, and this is being fueled by its low hardware costs, simplicity and flexibility. But it does have some limitations. You cannot grow storage capacity without investing in compute too, which you may not need. Performance will be restricted by the network connecting the system nodes. The more you add, the greater the inefficiencies. The virtual SAN within the solution can only be accessed by virtual machines, so any non-virtualized database applications cannot use the storage. Although it's relatively cheap hardware, the software to run the solution is not. Experience shows that in larger systems, traditional or converged solutions may be lower cost. Although designed to eliminate silos by providing a single scalable infrastructure, hyperconverged can become its own silo when it cannot meet the requirements for all applications. So my best advice is this, hyperconverged is certainly worth a look and has plenty of merits. But go into it with your eyes wide open and be aware of its limitations. These will vary by vendor, so have a good look around.